do songs in your name. I have proven my worth with a hundred hunts, and my song will echo for a hundred more. This is how the Banuk must have gotten up and down the mountain. Nuclear further north. She'll hunt more skillfully if she pretends to be one of us. We should head north, north, where the ice and snow falls. Greetings, Nora. I am Tikuk. Shaman. I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> the blue light is strong here. My people traveled far from the heights of Ban-Ur to experience it for themselves. The blue light? The light of the machine spirits. It is all around us. It settles upon us. This is how it used to be, before they grew angry. I, I know about the derangement, but I didn't think the machines were ever this calm. What is it about this place? We don't really know. We sing, and we listen to the machine songs. Teacook, have any other Outlanders come through here recently? Some Asaram, yes. They were convinced the machines were malfunctioning. As if machines were mere devices in need of repair. Well, that is how the Asaram see the world, is it not? They ate with us. Then, when they were satisfied there was nothing they could explain, they left with the Northern Light. The machines... sing to you? To each other. You are a hunter. You must have heard. Their communions and hymns, their calls and cries. We're not meant to understand, but we shamans try to interpret. What is the song that angered them so? that turn them upon us. What song soothes them? Does it thrum in the air here, just outside of hearing? How can we heal the machine world? What's with the big guy? 
I was drawn to this place in a storm. At first, I thought the keening was the wind, snapping off the mountain's frozen face. But no, it was the Thunderjaw's song. I found it crouched on its haunches, its metal unmoving, and I took shelter beneath it. When the storm cleared, its singing done, perhaps the spirit left its great shell, or perhaps it slumbers and remains. So we have not stripped and gleaned this one. We treat it with the care it is owed. Do you mind if I look around more, Teacook? Speak, trade, listen. You are welcome. No harm will come to you here. So it's not the Banuk that are doing this. There's something about this place. They can't see it, but maybe my focus can. I can feel myself growing old. Did she acquire that gear in Banur? Or kill one of our people to get it? Swift arrows and sharp legs. There, signal. And the source is at the top of the mountain. Yes, I'd better look into it. This is how the Banuk must have gotten up and down the mountain. Just leave us! Did Vilgan send you? I guess shards can buy a conscience. <laughs> Never mind that. Nora girl, we have to stop you. Up ahead, we snuck up here. Uncovered some kind of ancient device. Plain as an anvil. That's what affects the machines. The other bungheads voted to take it to Pitchcliffe for auction. But it's taken a beating already. Like it dropped from the sky. We tried to stop them digging it out. Without that thing up here, those Banuk will be massacred. I'll stop them. You two get out of here. Sounds like you've already done enough damage. Well, that's a fair appraisal. You bunch of chuff skulls. The slack was on you. What have you done? Who are you? You're not one of those Banuk. <sighs> Too late. Let me look at it. Hold on, hold on. This was our delve. We did the work. You want to put your axe in? What's this thing worth to you? I don't know about this. 
This was your idea. You started it, you can finish. All right. Could be this thing's just scrap, but even scrap has a price. So I'll ask again, what's it worth to you? It's worth more to me than you are. You still want to negotiate? Forget it. All you've ever given me is black toes. <sighs> They've made a mess of this. Catastrophic malfunction. This is from long ago. And it's been sending a signal all this time. Fading out. I have to get back to the camp before the machines tear it apart. No, they've already started attacking. You must. Nora, did you know this change would come upon us? Not exactly. Although I know there is a lot changing in our world. This time it was outsiders. Those Asaram thought. The Asaram do not think. They will never understand the balance between us. Between man and machine. Now the blue light has gone. And we are left with many songs but more for mourning than gratitude. So what now? Will you go back to your homeland? When we teach the young to walk on shifting ice, we say the secret is taking one step, then the next. Perhaps one day we will understand the machine's mysteries. I hope so. Good luck, Teacook.
Let's see you catch us. Fascinating, if they weren't looking for me.
always the ones you least expect. A moment of your time, Outlander? Ah, you're back. Till we meet again. Could you spare a moment? Hello again. Ah. I look for I have a matter of grace and beauty up like to discuss with you. Able bodied adventurers from Outlander. Are you looking for Wait? I know your face. You came back! How did we fare? Expensively. That's what I was afraid of. The tame machines... It's hard to explain, but there was a kind of signal that calmed them. Your men got greedy, so it's gone now. Gambling's a shoddy job, girl. I should have been a weapons dealer. That's steady work. Here, take it. The half I'd owed those hammer-handed chunks. Half? I finished the job. And what was it you said? Enough to buy a more becoming garb? What do you want? Carja silks? Ah. Hoisted on my own purse strings. You need to win three half-sons at our hunting grounds to gain admittance to the lodge. 
You mean these? Very well then. Congratulations, and welcome. Our members reap rewards and adventure and live on in legend. Am I a member now? No, you're only a fledgling. Junior members are called thrushes. To join and become a thrush, you need a senior member called a hawk to sponsor you. So I need to find a hawk? Yes, but a hawk can only sponsor one hunter at a time, and I'm afraid most of them already have one. I've overcome worse odds. Where do I start? Upstairs, present yourself to the Sun Hawk Assis, our leader, who should introduce you to a hawk. I hope it's worth it. What do you mean? You'll see. Avad's edict really is taking effect. Never thought I'd see a Nora here and a woman at that. So, you have marks for me? What do you mean? From the hunting grounds. Oh, right. We are new here. What edict? King Avad insisted that the Hunter's Lodge had to welcome everyone. Man, woman, outlander, regardless of tribe. Ursa, captain of the Vanguard, came in and delivered that news personally. You should have been there. It was glorious. But I figured they would sweep it under the rug and say no woman or outlander qualified. Yet here you are. Are you a member? Me? No. Karja don't exactly encourage their daughters to run around hunting machines. But all the changes in Meridian have been good to me. I don't think the Osirai know how to sell to us Karja. The trader I worked for last couldn't sell flowers to a bee. He was too plain hammered, as they like to say. This is a much better job. I figure I'll be able to open my own shop soon enough. What do you want with my marks? You hunters and your badges. I'm not gonna take them. I'm going to give you a weapon that sets you apart. Yeah, I thought that'd get your attention. If you earn marks in all three trials at each of the five hunting grounds, Come to me. I can give you up to three weapons. One for 15 half-suns, one for 15 full suns, and one you'll love for all blazing suns. What do I do with these marks? If you get the same mark from all the hunting ground trials, I can give you a Hunter's Lodge weapon. Show me what marks you've earned, and we'll see if you qualify for one of these special weapons I have for you. I'm a little short on marks. No problem. Once you have marks from all 15 trials, you'll be able to get the next Hunter's Lodge weapon from me.
good day.
buy the... What are you doing? This is a... Pl I know I can... Excellent. You're... Well... What about... No. Who are you? Why are you here? Well, I'm a hunter, of course. And a member of the Hunter's Lodge. But I don't mind being out here. At least no one complains about my clothes, or my manners, or my personality. Don't let him in. He'll drive people off with his incessant chattering. Or, he stinks of fish again. That sort of thing. I don't stink of fish, do I? No, it's uh, more like wet fur. Well, that's something. What are the trials? The hunt, the trials, and a herd. What is the hunt? The police. You've already. Which one will you try? Which one will you? The remains of watchers rest on three rises. Loot all of them before time runs out, and you pass. It sounds simple, but watch out for all the other machines down there. Are you ready? Good. I'll start timing once you choose a rope.
Just go about your business.